quick test for today. I have a single 80 volt, two and a half amp hour battery and two 40 volt, five amp hour batteries. So previously I was able to get to about 39 miles per hour with this 80 volt battery. These two batteries are actually in 2P configuration, meaning it has two cells in parallel and then all the cells are connected in series. So these are 2P, this is 1P. So hopefully it has twice the discharge rate compared to that one. More discharge rate, that means it can sustain at higher speed. Let's see if these are any better than the 80 volt battery. Here we are. I got the scooter ready. This is actually a Squatron 36 volt scooter. I have modified it into a 72 volt electric scooter. It's unrecognizable. One of my viewers calls it a Franken scooter. Let's see if it lives up to its name. I've got two 40 volt, 5 amp hour battery in here connected in series. 82 volts total. But first, let's see what the no load speed is. 49 miles per hour. Here we go. Nineteen, twenty-three. Man, the acceleration is phenomenal. Twenty-nine. I have to hold back really fast. Thirty-five. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. I'm totally surprised that these two 5 amp hour batteries can only give me 37 miles per hour versus this 2.5 amp hour battery give me 39 miles per hour. A 2P battery pack would give me twice the discharge rate compared to a 1P. I don't understand. I'm thinking because these two batteries are used and they have a few cycles on them so they might be tired. Tired is a keyword. So I'm going to replace with two brand new uh, 40 volt 5 amp hours. These have zero cycles. They are brand new out of the box. They should perform better. So let's go ahead and give it a try. All right, we're at 83 volts. Let's check out the no load speed. 52.7 miles per hour. That's promising. Alright, here we go. Oh man, the acceleration. 24, 28, 29, 32, 33, 34. So my first run with the two new batteries, 35 miles per hour. Could have been better, but I don't know why 35. So let's try the second run with the new batteries. Now second run with new batteries. Twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-nine, thirty-two. 35.8 Well, well, well. These two brand new guys are even worse. 35 miles per hour? Come on. I don't understand. I'm completely stumped. 
Could someone please explain to me what is happening here? Two brand new batteries perform worse than two used battery. And then on top of that, they are worse than a single 1P battery. I just don't get it. We got 39 miles per hour, 37 miles per hour for this two used battery, and 35 miles per hour for this two new battery. I'm completely stumped. The only reason I can think of is the BMS on this battery would limit the current. If you have less current, you're gonna have less power. However, if you take a look at this formula, right? Watts is volt times amp. If you increase the voltage to 80 volt, right? If you increase the voltage, you have to reduce the current. And therefore, this battery would produce less current for the same amount of wattage, that is. For this battery, if you reduce the voltage, right? Reduce to 40 volts, and then you have to increase the current for the same amount of wattage. For example, if you have an e-bike that runs at 400 watts, right? And you use an 80 volt battery, your current is gonna be five amp, right? If you use 40 volt battery, your current is gonna be 10 amp. So the 40 volt battery would produce more current, twice the current than the 80 volt for the same amount of power. That means for the 40 volt battery, if you put two together in series, it becomes 80 volt. And the current they still produce at 10 amp, that means they can put out 800 watts potentially. But that's not what we see here. We, we see completely the opposite. At the beginning, I thought this would be a slam dunk experiment, right? These two would easily outperform that. But it's not what we see here. Don't get me wrong. These two batteries still put out a lot of torque. When I accelerate, I really have to feather down my throttle. Otherwise, the wheel would just slip. All right, here we go. <laughs> and the acceleration is out of this world. Every time I accelerate, I feel like it's trying to push me out of the seat. The only thing I can think of is it all comes down to the BMS. The BMS on here might not limit the current, whereas the BMS on here would limit the current for an 80 volt power tool because the power tool is bigger and more powerful. Therefore, there is probably no limit on the current output on the BMS. It can just put out as much power, as much current as the battery can handle. Whereas for a 40 volt power tool, because the tool is smaller and less powerful, and therefore the BMS has to limit the current to a certain point to protect the power tool from being overloaded. But that's just my theory. What do you think? I'm completely stumped. I I'm still confused. Please write down in the comment below if you know what's going on here.